Right, a very good evening to you and welcome to Entertainment News right here on Y254 TV. If you're joining us for the first time, the hashtag is Y254 Updates. Now, my name is Philin. You can find me at Philin Jean across all social media platforms. Now, join us right now and let's have some fun until... Maybe around 7.40, right? And you know, if you're a fan of the show, you know, I have my panelists right here. I call them my co-hosts. Let's meet them. Starting with our very own Mwangis, Yo. as we call him. <laughs> <laughs> I go by the name the Mwangis. It's time to jibambe, to kuleraha, to kuleudaku. Eh, no, wanasemaga, mimi ni mdaku. Yo. Uh-huh. Right. And we have a newbie on the show. This is his first time on the show. Hi, what's up? How you doing? Hey, what's up? Uko fiti? Uko salama. Uko ready? Yeah, let's Kotari. talk about this, you know. Right, just go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, I'm Richie, mm -hmm. straight up of Y254. Mm -hmm. I'm going to discuss the entertainment. Awesome. Yeah. Right. And we have the noise maker himself <coughs> right here in person and in spirit. Oi. He's been away because of Tuambi Umekua Wapi Alafuji introduced. Well, you are away. Okay. What are you trying to do, Kwanza? No, I'm trying to. <laughs> no, Nazarebu <laughs> could swim in uh -huh. to my camera. Uh -huh. right. Call me the only general of Fulimboko, the noise maker uh -huh. in Eastern Central Africa. I'm back again. When you're talking about the Fulimboka, I'm going to go Wapi. Nilikuwa na harusi juzi but eh uh, watu walikuwa washenzi but sasa mimi niko tu peke yangu mpaka saa hii I'm still here. Yes. I can only think with him. I can't. No, let me. I can't. Na sumbua. Right? Now the hashtag is Sinaleni. for updates. Let's on Facebook and Twitter and of course tag me at @filinjen and tag at white for channel as well. Now let's go ahead to our first story now controversial Dennis Tumbi on Wednesday morning penned a lovely poem to former TV girl Jackie Maribe. In a lovely birthday poem, Itumbi described Jackie as a fire on top of a mountain and went ahead to confirm how strong their friendship is. KOT, however, did not waste time as they went ahead to troll him, saying that he should uh, ask her rather out already and stop using poems because they're not working. <laughs> so I'm a dancer. Right, that is Dennis Itumbi. Jorate to Najo Itumbi. Mwangis, Itumbi afanye nini? Mbuna mnaonea Itumbi kwanza? Ano mse ala tumbi ya jina angu vibaya? Unatua kitu na niyo kitia. Yani, yani mse, he just goes by the name Dennis and then ala haribu. Ala haribu. Ala haribu. Itumbi. Yadi, Itumbi. Anyway, this guy should just be like quit. Me and I also want to be at this two story I can like out. You can't take Jackie out. Mm -hmm. Jackie is way out of your league. Man, so them, them wanna come in. Wanna check Eriko. Like mm -hmm. there's Eric. You know the players in the game are Joey. They we me set bar. Bar na we back to play work for your PDU. And the latter to be a villain life here. Prezo in and the latter will appreciate. But a channel na Jackie. Can be so. Can be so. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just yeah. use the mic. Huh? Oh, yeah. I think Jackie huh? and Dennis might actually be good friends mm -hmm. and sit on another level. Come in, Jackie, as a bag. No, no, no. My, my problem is this. The, this fire on the mountain, mm, your mm. studio duel, mm. hey, that kind of poem. I mean, you write support, that for your friends? Uh -huh. As in, if your friends are not fans, then who are they? Uh -huh. I mean, let's see my choice, a kidogo. If you let my fans, KOT, you are so much too much. Right, half you, half you. Hey, boy child, what can you tell the boy child? Dennis, Hapana Bana, to me, 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 Sio ni kama kuna mwalimu nendana. Sio kabisa. Sio ni kama hata hata rhyming sio ni kama kuna mtapelekana. Mtakosa tu but mimi najua tu wenyewe mtu wangu Jack utanikujia tu. Eh, sikia mwingine anatuma. No, mimi ni jina tengeneza. Ni point nyingine tunaona hapo. Okay, I'm the dancehall. Shukrani. I know you. You come. I'm here. 
Right on, right on. Oh. to get on is YTV for updates. Talk to us, and we'll love it when you talk to us. We'd love to hear from you. Now, on to another story where a Ugandan man by the name Peter Kadama was angry to learn that his wife had slaughtered the only chicken reserved for Christmas Day. It is alleged that the man kicked and whipped the wife severely, leaving her for dead because of the incident. The woman is currently receiving medical treatment at Budaka Health Center. Um, said Joseph Gadimba, a local information official. Ugandans, Ugandans, Ugandans. Again. But anyway, hey, it's almost Christmas. You can see we have a Christmas tree right here. We're super excited. But they know, is that enough? Kupiga mtu sababu, siti ya meuza, alichinja kukula kriseja fika. Like what? Yeah. Do you know, Uganda <laughs> just borders western. Somewhere there. Mm -hmm. Where? 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 <laughs> but it is true. So, like from where I, we are right now, to Kianza Kwenda Western, mm -hmm. the affinity for chicken starts growing. So, you can imagine if you Uganda, you call the Vogani. And then this guy, out of nowhere, the wife takes the chicken near Christmas. Una chinja. Na me hustle. Na me hustle. One chicken. One chicken. Una chinja ya Christmas. Alafu una taka Christmas to kula nini. But the answer una kula nini. You know, know. I understand the pain of that man. They but know. anyway, get into a level that Usika he's killing. Usika nani mafuto na kuna malunaenda. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, like, and so what Dennis is saying that we do not adv advocate yes. for any form of violence. Yeah. We but are against violence. Cuckoo. We're against cuckoo. violence, right? Mulu ya ama mutu wakwenda yo panda ya Western. Ukikisani na kuku, kitu una unajua na samanga kitu wezi kula ni kivuli peke yake. So you can understand. Sauti. Ni sauti tu wezi kula. Unajua kuna kuku. Ati wali ni sauti tu wezi kula kwa kuku. All right, so what are your thoughts? I mean, kuku na agenda violence are two different things. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, kula kuku, usikule, usichapede. Sindio, alafu kuku wa jauza, ni wewe bando umepikiwa, but unazua. Sasa shidu upatu mfupa, na mtu na kula nyama. Mwana manishi ni kuku. Upuwa kuku, na mtu na kula nyama. Kuku, na kula nyama. Kuku, na kula nyama. Kuku, na 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 when you can cook in a work of Marata, you can cook in a cat. 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 You I hear you. I understand you. Is that what you can cook in a cat? You can cook in a cat. 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 Anyway, so I don't know my culture. I'm just going to move on. We're just going to move on. We're going to move on to another story. 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 So ni kama lipatia mzee na mzee kwa nataka imaneno. Please ladies, watch out what you're giving to your men. To one other story. Now, a video, a video, one meeting, a video of an already, of an elderly woman dancing to a hit song by a gang that an artist, Sailors, went viral on social media recently. In the video, the woman is seeing, showing off her moves only associated with the younger generation. The recording has received much reactions from social media users who pray the granny's energy while dancing to packaging packaging you, you guys have seen the video yeah yeah mm -hmm. hey what are you i know who you i don't know if you go no you don't know the package it's the family of gengeton right yeah yeah of course so what do you think about that video i know i'm sorry but the gengeton to the world am i gengeton to the world any man that even says i'm not that good you know but it's a good thing mm -hmm. i'm happy that she has that vibe mm -hmm. she's enjoying herself right that's the thing mm -hmm. you know when you when you're having music that you can groove to yeah. enjoy the music mm -hmm. i don't care what type of music she was actually dancing to the fact that at her age mm -hmm. she was dancing to something mm -hmm. is just enough me concert before that joel gonna dance on gani mm -hmm. i watched uh okay video, so it will go mute. But I was really, but I was really enjoying what she was doing until then. Nika peka ngoma nika jua. Ah, it's actually peka. It's peka jeng. Like she, she had the the grooves. Yani alikuwa jibamba. That's the thing. What was jibamba? Ne Christmas.
Okay. We are not uh, going to into the world. Imagine how comes into She's world. a granny. She's a granny now. Go to go to the dance below and dance. Take it, take it, take it. Eh? Hey, I don't know. It's side to side. It's side good, to side. Right? I know. Yes. So just chill. This guy. Chill. We'll get to you. Yeah, I'm so scared. You can't stop reggae. Aha. Hey, you can't stop gengeton. Kabisa. Hey, hey yes. that's what you say. That's a new one. You can't stop gengeton. I mean, mm-hmm. for clearly for that woman, mm-hmm. you can't stop her. What does she do? And here, I'll go and influence her now. The others will also come and say, oh, even the Kunanda, eh? Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Choreographer, go up. I don't say that. It is like, what is happening? Please, Angalia, a Giaco. Ah, you need to say ma. You might be packaging. Yeah, ah. you, know, you know, I've even noticed that the ladies, the way they, 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 they in my name, Wakilala, their status, the muscle pulls. How will, where are you getting this one from? No, no I'm going to do this thing up. You, you've been away for three weeks and nothing changed. By the way, you can match it to your rocha. No, I'm not going to change your dancing style. Because the more you packaging, you are hurting your bones. That's when I land straight. I don't know some. Sasa wewe na ladies, it's a grandma we are talking about. Let's talk about. Mna chokoza mfupa huyo mzee. Inavunjika. Bana kwa na shake anything. Alikuwa na dance vile hiyo package yenu dansiwa. I know. Eh? Sasa wewe na Usheku tume buy coffee mtu acheka kwa hii because ya men walikuwa acheka sana because ya the nerves zilisha. Ah, sije buy coffee. How to do? Can not be late. No time to. Bye. Where are you happy? What are you? See, see. Umerudi daktari. Piga picha za melala and then the bones are broken. From the package. That's broken. Wanasema vunja mifupa kama bado meno iko, si ndio? So, so mnaweza kuvunja kuvunja mifupa. Eh, acha vunje mifupa. What are you doing? Vunjika, what will you say? Akibunjika, mtasema nilivunja mifupa kwa sababu alikuwa anajibamba. Anadhani msemo za Kiswahili zimechanganya. Acha, acha, acha shosho jibambe. Since we're having too much fun, we're going to do this, guys. We're going to take a very, very, very short commercial break come right back. The hashtag is white for updates. Stay with us. Any of you Y254 Imagine Well, welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us. We appreciate you. The hashtag is white for for updates and this is entertainment news right here on white for for TV. Now, let's move on to another story. Now, Nairobi pastor James Nganga has clapped back at rapper King Kaka for throwing shade at him and his congregation in his latest poetic composition, Wajinga Nini. Nganga mispronounced Kaka's name, calling him stupid and that his mother is his girlfriend Tafuta wale watu watembea na matatu. Kanikaka, tafuta watu wa matatu, manaba ya matatu, muoge nao. This is a commander. Eh wewe unaogea na nani? <laughs> Ndi kama jua na mwezi. Ubwezi ni ya usiku, jua inatawala mchana. Haleluya. Wakati watu ni wengi. Kankaka, kanikaka. Wewe pepo wa wapi wewe? Ujui mama yako. Kankaka mama yako ni my girlfriend. Kankaka mama yako ni my girlfriend. Kinkaka Mama yako ni my girlfriend wherever you are tell the kankaka your mother is my girlfriend kankaka Well, I'm still stuck hapo kwa kankaka maze kankaka yani nakwambia kan like kan 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 kankaka watu wa lego wanaelewa kabisa ilikuwa ina kan 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 kankaka right so Dennis, what are your thoughts maze with you know this story has been trending for a whole week i love to say say Yeah, King Kaka and Nganga. Okay, what happened is that King Kaka released um he released 
it's not actually a song. It's just, it's it, it's more of a, a spoken word, right? Mm, yeah. So you're just talking about what's happening in Kenya, all the corruption and all the evil acts that are happening in Kenya. Akasema akambia politicians at least nganga yeye ana anaiba in public yeah. in daylight. Ana washinda. Ana washinda for that nganga. So nganga took offense in that. Akamwambia who are you and what do you think you know? Like he actually he was offended. So he was just like retaliating. Akamwambia yeye kwanza kwenda uko yeye girlfriend yake ni mama ya king kaka. Right here Danis what are your thoughts? Okay I'll just go back to Nanga. First he needs to get his okay there's a problem with whoever advises or tells Nanga who has said something about him. Mhm. story ya Snoop Dogg akimuita sinifu. Like there's just a problem. Either he gets it wrong how he pronounces it or he just does not even know what he said. But anajua kuna mtu alimkata mahali. So he has to respond. So alisikia tu jina kaka tu mahali na na king. Hiyo ndio shida ya kupatia same message. Hai iko tu kwa tulutulu. Sasa yeye anasikia tu kan kan kaka. Sasa anaanza kusema kan. But you know Nganga should actually take take up the fact that people are trying. Unajua anafaa shukuru king kaka by the way. Anamjengea kiki. Unajua? kasasa kinkaka hadi wana sasa wanajua nganga before now they know nganga same mali amejitokeza yeah. karibu shirini eh, watu wana come wana through eh, watu wana come through so nganga should be grateful that kinkaka actually recognizes him but nganga has always been controversial yes but he's just trying to ride on to kiki we'll get that but but ana ride to ana ride to na kiki zingine unajua angeacha hii slide na ile kwa tu ipite hiyo hata tuko tunakumbuka nganga was in the story so sasa hii na tukumbusha au litajwa by the way we are sorry what are your thoughts wasanganya think I have to go a change career a motivation to speak I'm a comedian because when eh hii sijui watu wanaenda kanisa yake wanakuwa na wanasaidika aje hizi matusi nyingi sana matusi yeah so you give to end kwa nganga he's a pastor he's a man of god no the pa he is he is the commander in chief Ah, uh, Aflu, mbona ukubali Pastor Nganga? He's called Pastor Nganga of Neno Evangelism. What do you mean he's not a pastor? Hata mm-hmm. jina Neno. Underline the word Neno. Neno. Mm-hmm. Nganga ni mtu wa maneno tu kabisa. Kitu naweza kuambia Pastor Nganga by the Pastor Nganga amejaribu kutu reveal stories zote za mapastor wote zile vile wana behaving but wana tu feature ndani yake. Mm-hmm. Kitu, kitu ya kwanza. Mm-hmm. Pastor Nganga ni yule mse. Fine. Ataongea bora jibambe but angalia watu wanasikiza. Ni watu hapa the goons not the cartels <laughs> yeah so pastor nanga it's a high time please na kuomba change your career ukitaka kwa mtu wa kiki come kwa entertainment hizo tutakuonyesha kiki ni nini lakini yeah. this time na mkono kaka nakusaidia kabisa at least watu wanajua kwenda si mnaishi wewe sasa hizi wewe ni the past itself past yes. two not pastor past two Thank you. Wow. Actually, wow. Alisha Jiva wow. Nisha Tyson hey, is no longer called pastor. I'm a chief to general commander Nganga. Hiyo ndio tunamjua. Nataka kujua jeshi yake ni nani kwa hiyo support. So, so we're going to move to another exciting story. Now, a young British man named Jack struck up an unlikely friendship with an 88 year old retired nurse named Violet in a New York airport. Violet was traveling to see her daughter in London and was booked into economy while Jack was flying back to British capital in upper class. However, once they boarded the same plane, Jack found Violet and swapped their seats so that she could experience the comforts of upper class since that has been her lifelong dream. The story was shared on Facebook by a Virgin Atlantic flight attendant who said they were her favorite clients ever. Now, so there are these two guys. So, Mozan and Mzai. Actually, the guy helping is a white man, right? Mzai, he, like, she's an elderly black woman. So, alikuwa kwa economy. Una understand? Alikuwa, alikuwa kwa ndege, but economy. Na, eh, alikuwa kwa kufly first class, at least. Hasa uchali kusikia kumwambia baadhi niko first class so why not enda uko na mimi nikae kiti yake aka ka economy akamwachia kiti a few humanity <laughs> at least yeah humanity is still there at least there are some nice people out there ama since since when kamati mm. ya roho mm. what are your thoughts ebu cheki siko by rudio story tena juu kuna vile na nyuma mbona ya kuuma ebu rudio story tena Mbona nakuuma? Mbona nakuuma? Sio mzali kwa mekaifu mimi akapelekwa aka 
you know upper class kule kwa ndege mali eh unaanga ile huku tunaitanga business class ile ya wale wase wanaweza sasa kapeleka huko eh kuweza nini si choni moja ah ah ni nini sasa na na nauliza tu Mm-hmm. Eh, choni moja ile mtaenda tu but mm-hmm. upper class kukatu ni stare kwekele kiti nyuma uamke asubuhi uletewa hii unatulia hiyo comfortable kuna watu wa economy unajua bora ufike no, 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 no. upper class yes, ni kukana pilot hivi ndio mimi naelewa cause <laughs> anaona kule anaenda hata kuzoea matatu no kwa hiyo nataka mbele ndio ndio Hivyo na kusema na Canada ni kama ni job kusema hivi. No, mimi naelewa first class ni kukana pilot. Okay. Enyo one mali enyo ni kulona. You're missing the point. The point is yeah. upper class is very expensive like way too expensive. Juu ndege ama upper class. You know juu ya ndege na juu ni. So bye. Anyway, what are your thoughts? No. I mean, uh, uh, the game made Christmas for that too much. Mm-hmm. Uh, so what I see to Julize yeah. for any need is Christmas for some. Exactly, yeah. right? Cuz it's Christmas, yeah. you give to the less privileged. Yeah. yeah, and also I told you you have a Christmas tree right here. So we just, we, we in that. Utenda nayo kwa nyumba. Ah. Hmm? Utenda nayo kwa nyumba. Utenda nayo kwa nyumba wewe uzijunia yako kwa nyumba mbona uenda ni studio. <laughs> acha kutuambia acha kutuambia vile una Christmas hizo matunda ndio napenda cuz naweza na leo kwa nyumba <laughs> all right dennis mwangi you know nurses mm-hmm. there are people who actually do a lot of work yeah so what what he did to that lady mm-hmm. was actually deserving right a nurse is a very important person in every like hata kama utasema uenda hospitali in one way or the other you interacted with the nurse yeah. even during your birth yeah exactly one way or the other hata kama ni midwife it was a nurse yeah. in one way or the other so doing that to that lady yeah. is actually very ni kitu inagusa mahali inagusa yeah. mahali you know yeah. and yeah. yani she always wanted to fly there yeah. so she she got her dream yeah her dream was accomplished yes. at 88 years you know what that what tells you Never give up. Don't give True. up on your dreams. Because yo. she's a lady and I'm support. Sindio. What if it was a man? Same thing. Then anyway, you missing the point. The high is going no. to get for updates. Let's move on to Matthew. Now, Talk. Kenyan comedian Jigush had Ali on shared photos of a house which was still under construction, but the wife shared a photo of a complete mansion indicating they will be moving in soon. <coughs> the two love birds were once struggling and even went days without food allegedly but they thank god for his grace and aren't you happy for them guys like saiwa mejenga mansion mazeno uko na lalanja na itu comedy and jugush na you know jona zile youtube zao and the kidogo kidogo income they put together they now have a mansion we're happy right yeah, they know true. yes mangi <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. you know you know jela unasema gaka pole ghost yeah Mm-hmm. Kamati to here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. As in Waka Vinye. Waka Vinye mm-hmm. has stood by Jugush. Right. Through thick and thin. Mhm. Oh my thin and thin. Let me tell you. <laughs> No. Right, so I just <laughs> I know, no, you're, ta- you're saying your own joke and laughing at you. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, anyway. But anyway, so she's she's shown us what we uh, I feel that that's how ladies should be able to handle their men. Right. Because a successful they say behind every successful man there is a, a woman, woman behind. Yeah. But actually, the woman you marry defines what you become. Right. So this is actually a true definition of that. Yeah. This is what Kavinye. I'm not saying that Ndugu should not have been successful alone. But her input, yeah. however small, however big. And you know, Wakavinye was not. She's not from a struggling family, mm. but Njugush was struggling. Yeah. But akakata kumwacha, akasema like ana. She believes in him. And oh, here they are. Here they are. Yeah. You you're excited as well, right? Sawa basi. We understand. Amen. Because because when you let me say when you see him you just feel happy mm-hmm. so it's actually happy to see him mm-hmm. on Africa po. yeah so yeah it's glad we are glad we are glad hata hata industry na nipa kidogo sio inafanya ma comedians kama kamati hapa wako na moyo eh moyo guys there's hope moyo for comedians where where no no unaona hii kutoamini not believing eh hiyo ndio bush kama the only general full imboko na kuishtua the best sina kitu ya kusema bora msikosane hiyo tu 
No. Yeah. Oh, finally. Yeah. Have you had something oh. nice to say yeah. about no, someone? Like so no, understand. Kupata mtu anakupenda sana. Ni kazi. Ni kazi. Yeah. All right, but we are happy for them. So, what are your remarks? What do you have to say now before we end? Because time is not on our side. We have to get out of here. What do you have to tell the guys at home? Oh, and remember your social media pages yeah. as you are there. Kakasumbura, thank you so much. At least what we fungu kamaje. What we call people fu. But size ni mekuta mako na malaya twenty. DCI wanakupenda. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Right. Only the only general for Limboko. Until next time, Majama. Mwah. We love you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Right. Uh, my last words is Kinkata. Ume, ume, ume kazi mzuri. When people are talking about it, and if people are talking about it, it's actually getting to bring up Polish stuff. Yeah. yeah. So, and to the people out there, holidays, mjichunge, take care, drink responsibly. Yeah. Uh, drive kwa mkuna. <coughs> Amen to that. Mongers. Yeah, um, because everyone is actually talking about it, I'll also take it up. King Kaka, you did a good job. You told us about what is eating us up. Not that you told us any, anything new, but you told us what we needed to hear at the right time. Sasa wachia hapo, wachana na kiki. Wow. Make it clear, my boy. I go by the name Dennis Bob Miner across all social media platforms. Those who are watching my family back at home in the Karatina, na wapenda sana. I would mention names ni wengi. Are you Why? All right. So, no, hopefully you, you had your time and exactly. it's done. Yeah, so. What is so, they know you're done, right? Yeah, I'm done, but this guy. So, <laughs> what were you saying? Ulo sema nini? Okay. One minute. Dennis, are you a Okay, we're not going to do this. Okay. We're not going to have this kind of an interview right now. We don't even have time for that. <laughs> and, uh, guys, <laughs> guys, thank you so much for staying with us. Now, here's a quick reminder. Yeah, so, you know, right here at YTF4, each and every morning, there's a show called Why in the Morning. It's amazing, yeah? Four hours of nothing but entertainment. So, you know what? They're giving away cake. Oh. This festive season. You want to get your hands on that cake? Make sure you are tuned in from 7 a.m. all the way to 10, 10 a.m. actually. Yeah. 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. each and every morning. Now, thank you so much for watching. You guys are amazing. You are the real MVPs. I'll be shout out to Mashu and Ivasha. You're always tuned in and we are happy you are. Eman James, he oh. is always tuned in. And I'll be shout out to everybody else who is tuned in as well. You may not have tweeted, texted, but the fact that you are home watching us we appreciate and the whole entire technical crew who made the show possible we don't take it for granted thank you so much now the show runs right here every single thursday but there's another show coming your way on saturday rock tour right rock tour on uh, saturday i'll see you then from 5 p.m all the way to 7 30 p.m but before then it is christmas it's a happy mood so make sure you stay safe go visit your families for those of you traveling and be safe and we're gonna see you again next week with an even better show but until then goodbye and good night bye we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas we wish you a merry christmas and a happy Happy 